Time now for an in-depth look at the market news this afternoon. And for that, I'm joined on the line by Dr. Song Su Young, Professor of Business at Chungang University. Professor Song, good afternoon. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, good afternoon to you, Devin. Yeah. Well, stocks on Wall Street up again overnight, continuing from the big rise the day before, the biggest rise in several months. In fact, uh, tech shares leading the way with a gain of uh, more than 1.5% on the NASDAQ, which is now mm -hmm. at its highest level since early June. What's behind this new rally in global stocks? Yeah, the global stock actually, the Dow Jones and S&P 400 and the NASDAQ Composite, uh, even the Japanese Nikkei 225 has shown the positive uh, ton of positive increase of the uh, percentage rate. However, clearly the overall trend is uh, because it has been increased too much, particularly in U.S. economy, and uh, also that is reflected in the very strong U.S. dollars. So the, today, in the since uh, July, uh, the, uh, there is a, a little bit uh, increase of the uh, stock market. But overall, stock market is only U.S. market is uh, remains uh, quite strong. But uh, the overall trend, uh, even in U.K., FTSE 100 and has shown uh, declining, and also combined with uh, some crude oil future price has been dropped. So. I guess uh, currently uh, the trend is we have to wait and see, but the overall trend is a little bit declining because of the Russia-Ukraine war, and uh, the expectation to be uh, those uh, issues to be resolved, and then also supply disruption is resolved sooner or later. That is reflected in the current uh, response and the uh, uprise of the uh, U.S. Uh, stock market. Right, and uh, watching central banks, uh, the Fed mm -hmm. in particular, up through September seems to be a key time frame. Well, Korean stocks mm -hmm. are up today, too. Foreign investors buying again, more than we've seen them right. do in a while. Uh, the cost be back at 2,400 points. Uh, mm -hmm. The Kosdaq up for a fourth session in a row. Uh, what's mm -hmm. the story in the domestic market? Yeah, in the domestic market, particularly because of the strong dollar and the very the Korean uh, stock market has be became has become very cheap relative to its uh, economic performance and relatively a uh, little bit lower inflation rate than the, the U.S. or some European countries. So that is reflective. Then it means that uh, stock uh, stocks in Korean stocks uh, are very. Uh, valuable buy. That's why I think the foreigners come to the Korean market and uh, begin to purchase. On the other hand, then the because of the concern about the declining uh, economic growth rate and then the U.S. economy and the particular European economy has turned out to be very weak. Therefore, there, uh, there is uh, the current interest rate hike and uh, cannot be sustained for a long time. Another fiscal expansionary policy may be needed, and uh, then the financial market expect. The, uh, to that regards, then the, not only in the U.S. stock market and in the Korean market, they have shown the resilience, and then that's why the foreign investors they uh, would like to come in the, some these uh, uh, Asian uh, East Asian market and uh, in the U.S. market. That's I, uh, my I, uh, I believe. That's why they uh, come to the Korean market and uh, Japanese market. Right, valuations are extraordinarily low in Korea. Um, speaking right. of Asian markets, the Asian Development Bank has raised its forecast for inflation in Korea this year to 4.5 percent, lowered its mm -hmm. growth forecast to 2.6 percent. Uh, food and fuel prices are still the main reason for the higher inflation, uh, though in Asian economies, uh, inflation is lower than in other countries. What do you mm -hmm. make of these projections, Professor? Yeah. This, uh, particularly in the Asian market, uh, of interest lies in the, that the distance determines the relative performance of the economy and the inflation rate. The closer to the Ukraine and Russia, hmm. such as Kazakhstan and uh, those countries in the Caucasian areas, Central Asia, they have suffered so much from the, some high inflation and uh, also some uh, relatively uh, uh, intermediate level of the growth rate, but in in East Asia, particularly the China has uh, it has been uh, the forecast has been the economic growth rate has been became half, 
It was a 2021, it has recorded 8.1 percent GDP growth rate, whereas on July, the supplementary uh, Asia development outlook forecast a 4, 4 percentage point of growth rate, whereas the inflation remains quite low for China and Hong Kong. So in Korea, is, uh, of course, the inflation rate is forecast to be 4.5 percent of, of the year. But still, we have our economic growth rate for Korea is just 2.6 percent. So that means uh, relatively weak. In terms of real gross rate, GDP growth, it is going to be a negative. Hmm. So what, what, what it means, that it implies that the uh, Korean market has suffered uh, so much from the, some losing export market and uh, some declining performance of uh, China economy. That has uh, played a very important, uh, crucial role to determine the, some uh, economic performance. Relatively, uh, Taipei, China has shown a relatively 3.8% and uh, uh, a little bit higher uh, gross rate. But uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why Taipei, China has been forecast to have uh, maintained a higher level of the economic gross rate than Korea is. Maybe uh, China, um, Taipei, China maintained their trade relationship with uh, uh, continent China. So that's why rather but uh, Korea may suffer so much from the losing as long as we maintain some political stance together with the uh, uh, United States and some Australia and the Quad, then we have to pay the price. That's why I, I believe the ADB has forecasted a lower economic growth rate. Uh, so uh, relatively in Asian countries, uh, they have shown the inflation is low. The reason is, one of the reasons may be some, the, particularly the food and uh, food price and the staple food, particularly the rice price has been very stabilized. But even though the wheat and corn has been increased so much, so in Asian market, relative the consumption of wheat and uh, corn is relatively smaller than rice. I think that is another aspect of the some uh, moderate inflation than European countries. And also the oil price, uh, the Brent futures and uh, Western Texas intermediate futures has been uh, lower, has been hovering, hovered around uh, lower than $100 per barrel. So that is uh, favorable, at least favorable to uh, the, uh, to the uh, inflation. In terms of, in light of inflation, it has not, uh, it has not uh, driven, drive, drive the price too high in uh, Asian countries. That's why I think that uh, relative the Asian uh, economy has, uh, uh, has, uh, has been in the range of the sort of moderate inflation than other countries. Well, that's an interesting point you make about uh, yeah. food costs and inflation. And, of course, uh, mm -hmm. much does depend on China for the growth figures. We'll have to see how that plays out. Professor, we'll have to leave it there for today. Uh, thank you, as always, for coming on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.